wave uh, may have been a welcome boost for our region's tourism industry, but it's been devastating for our region's rivers and lakes. Almost 50,000 fish died across the country last month as a result of the weather. Yes, the intense heat caused oxygen levels in the water to plunge. Serena Sandu has been with the Environment Agency to see how they're tackling the problem. This is the River Rover. It costs £20,000 and is the latest piece of equipment that's helping the Environment Agency improve water conditions for fish. The recent heat wave has meant that there's low oxygen levels in our region's rivers and lakes, leading to tens of thousands of fish dying. This aeration equipment allows officers to pump up to 1,000 kilograms of oxygen into the water a day. Because the water's warmer and there's already less because there's less water there, what can happen is that the demand will outstrip what's there, the oxygen will disappear from the water body and the fish will simply suffocate. So what we're trying to do with aeration equipment like this is pump as much oxygen back into the water body to allow the fish to breathe and to allow all those natural processes to go on and within the water body. It's not the first time that this method has been needed. In October 2011, oxygen was pumped into the lake at Abington Park near Northampton after anglers spotted that the fish were gasping for air. The Environment Agency says this year has been the worst in recent years because of the intense heat, and they've been working extensively in Cambridge and Ely. We've had a particular problem in the Great Ooze this year, and um, we've had uh, our Environment Agency staff out seven days a week trying to inject uh, pro hydrogen peroxide into the water course to raise the water levels so much so that staff have had to have mutual aid requests put in to staff to assist um, to man that seven days a week. Officers are asking people to be vigilant when they're near the water. With help from the public and high-tech equipment, it's hoped that the impact of the heat on our region's fish can be minimised. Serena Sandu, ITV News. Well, the Environment Agency has a 24-hour instant hotline if you notice any fish in distress. That number's on the screen for you now, 0800 80 70 60. That's 0800 80 70 60. Okay, you're watching a Wednesday's 